So we've got a customer whose camera was switching off about an hour into um, his ride. It's got a 32 gigabyte card, which I've put into the, there, to the computer. And now as I'm gonna look at it, um, had a look at the camera, all seemed fine. And um, looked in his SD cards, nothing in the files there. Looking in photos, nothing there. But look, when I go, looking at the file uh, how what's free it's saying that like half of the SD card has already been used now this is the issue because although there's no files in there I'm guessing this customer's using a Mac and when you've got a Mac if you do not delete the um, the files and empty the trash uh, whilst connected, then it will leave a shadow on the card. Even though it's all showing empty, it's all fine. Um, you can see that that is showing that the card is still full. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just reformat that card. This is why reformat would always get that, you know, back to, uh, to basics. Uh, make sure I use, here's the other thing, look. It says 16 kilobytes. I want to be using 32 kilobytes. That's another issue there. So it has to be FAT32. So let me just, with 30, FAT32, but with 32 kilobytes. So now I'm just going to reformat that card. And now you'll see Part that the card is fully empty now. Now, if this customer repeated and still carried on uh, deleting the files as I'm thinking he did, then that card would show half full or full. Um, and, and each time, basically, the camera is going to switch itself off. The other thing, looking at the SD card too, is it's a 32 gigabyte card, but it's not a SanDisk. We do recommend using SanDisk cards. So that could be the other thing. If the data speed isn't high enough, uh, like the SanDisk ones, where the standard ones um, here, then it can cause the camera to switch off prematurely and early whilst recording because there's a lot of data going onto that card and if it can't keep up it's basically coughing choking it out and then it stops um but i hope this helps others and um basically there's a there's a youtube video that we've got on how to delete on a mac and that explains how to do it